for sponsoring today's video. I just got this new necklace from them. It's so pretty. memory card and it stopped after like 10 seconds and said card full so i looked at what was on here and it was a photo shoot from probably two or three years ago from my store that we did in palm springs yeah i just grabbed a random memory card and i did not realize that we have not touched it in like three years but anyways welcome to today's vlog we had a great start to the day because i woke up and went to a workout class this morning which i have not been doing lately i was on a really good routine after i had lola i was going like three three times a week and I loved it. I love just like starting my day that way, getting up early, but with summer and everything, we were gone a lot. So I got out of the habit of going. So I'm trying to get back on like a good morning routine schedule. So I woke up at 6.30, went to my workout class, came home, showered. I'm getting ready right now. I've already got a little bit of work done. Our nanny was actually supposed to come today, but she texted me this morning and said she wasn't feeling very well. So Parker took the girls to the library. I'm gonna try and get my work done as fast as I can so that we can just like go and well i guess they're already doing something fun without me i was gonna go say do something fun hopefully we can like do something i need to order groceries and i want to make a soup or something tonight i want to do like comfy fall vibes i have like a whole list of stuff to do especially because we were out of town this weekend so i just didn't work very much and i'm like behind on everything right now i'm getting ready i'm actually not going to do makeup today well i'll do like a teeny bit but i'm not shooting any campaigns or anything today i'm just vlogging oh my gosh this is literally exploding. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like a tiny bit of blush, highlighter. I actually already put gel in my brows and curled my lashes. So I also wanted to say thank you to Jared for sponsoring today's video. I just got this necklace from them. It's the 20 inch curb chain necklace in yellow gold and it's so pretty. It's just like super simple and minimal. My everyday style is always just like super simple, comfy outfits that I like to dress up with jewelry i feel like it kind of just is like the finishing touch that dresses it up and makes it look nice and makes it look like i'm not just like wearing sweats all day every day and jared has a lot of timeless pieces that are classic and perfect for layering today i have on just the one necklace to kind of keep it simple but they have a lot of options if you guys want to check out their site if you're looking for like holiday gifts and stuff these are also high quality and long lasting pieces so it's a little bit more special they have more like emotional value i know i can pass these down to Cove or Lola one day because they're just like classic and timeless and I don't have any jewelry from my mom but I wish that I did because I think that would be so fun especially since jewelry is something that I feel like is going to be around for like ever and especially like I said because these are just a little bit more classic and kind of simple and minimal I feel like they'll be perfect gifts to pass down to the girls in the future so if you guys are looking for some new jewelry or gifts for yourself gifts for people for the holidays you can check out a link that I have down below for Jerry they have their jewelry experts who help you find the perfect gifts you can shop online or in store and if you do go in store you can book an appointment with them or if you want to do a virtual appointment they also have that option as well so the link is going to be down below if you guys want to check them out i definitely recommend it they have so many just like simple kind of minimal things or if that's not your style and you like like chunky kind of statement pieces they also have options like that so I'm trying to figure out what else i need to do to get ready i feel like that's pretty much it blush highlight a little bit of lips I'm gonna do a little bit of this lip gloss and then i already redid my bun too i was gonna do like a claw clip day but it's already up there and it kind of looks fine so we're just gonna stick with that so going through my to-do list for the day i need to order groceries which i'm gonna do in a second so that i can have them here soon but that kind of like takes me a while because i plan the meals and stuff i also need to call delivery people who came here over the weekend when we were gone and we weren't here so they called us and they were like oh if you just sign this form then we can leave everything and i signed it and then we got home and they didn't leave it so they have to like come back and re-deliver it i have a couple things for our house that i need to do we just got our closet to design so i need to review that we're still hoping to move in right after christmas parker got some bids from movers and stuff i want to find some like home organizers to come in and organize everything but our builder said that like the cabinet people are kind of just being a little bit slow that's like the one main thing that's been holding us up that we're waiting for so hopefully that doesn't get delayed because i think i mentioned this in the last video or two videos back but we thought the house would be done in october so i booked a month-long beach trip in january and now 
we're gonna hopefully be moving like right after Christmas. So basically we're only gonna have maybe a week or two in the house and I can't change the beach trip. I looked at the contract already and if I cancel, then you just like lose your money. Yeah, we're really hoping it doesn't get pushed back any farther and we don't have to move in after our trip. But I have just like, I'm so excited for the house to be done because I feel like it's just this big like looming project over my head and there's so many like little things that we have to do for it. We've also been picking out all of our furniture, but I'm trying to wait if something's like in stock. I'm trying to wait and order that after we move because again, since we're gonna be gone on this beach trip for like five weeks, I can't have stuff being delivered when we are not there. So I'm trying to figure out like, what can I order now? What do I need to wait and order? And then a lot of big pieces are like two or three months out. So I've been watching the date on those for like when they deliver. Cause a lot of things, it was like end of January, but we're not gonna be here. So I've been having to wait until it says like March. And so, but then I wanna order like right away for it to get here in March. So it's basically just kind of stressful. I have like probably 80% of the stuff picked out. There's a few other pieces that I'm trying to figure out and I'm trying to like take my time with picking everything, which we have our designer, Amy, who is the one who's like actually picking this stuff. Like she gives me a lot of options and then I go through and pick my favorites. So she's been super helpful, but I still have to like pick my favorite things and make sure that we love it. And I kind of want the style of the new house to be a little bit different than this house. I don't want it quite as boho. I want it more kind of like a little bit boho still, but kind of like an abstract boho. Whereas right now I feel like it's a different kind of boho and I love our house now, but we've had the same decor for like three years, which isn't that long, but I'm just excited to like change a few things. And some of the stuff we have, since the new house is bigger, it just like doesn't really fit quite right in the new house. We have to get a few new pieces. Yeah, that's where we're at with the house. Another little house update. So what else? Call delivery people, groceries. We're also getting the girls like a big playground set thing for our backyard. So I need to email those people back because they just sent me a like picture, or, like a rendering of what it's supposed to look like. So I'm really excited for that. I also need to do Christmas shopping. I need to add that to my list. That's not even on here. I don't know. I want the girls to have stuff to open, but also we're buying so many new things for the new house, like the playground and like all that stuff and just like new furniture and stuff for their rooms, which I don't want that to count like towards Christmas. But also I'm like, you guys are getting so much new stuff. And I just went through and cleaned out the playroom. So I'm trying to not get too many toys. So I've been trying to figure out what to get them for Christmas. And I have literally no ideas. I also need to edit. I probably won't get to this today, but I took one year pictures, like one year old pictures of Lola over a month ago when she turned one. I've not edited those yet. So I need to do that. Those are like the, the main big things. I have a campaign that I need to shoot, but I'm gonna do that in a couple days when our nanny does come. So I'm trying to think what I need to get done today so that I can like be done and hang out with the girls. But I think the main thing is groceries and I'm actually in the middle of editing a vlog right now. So I need to finish that and send it in. So yeah, just trying to get some work stuff done while they're gone. They're at the library and it's actually so fun because Lola can walk now. So she is gonna enjoy going to all that stuff like so much more because I don't let her crawl around like on the ground of public places usually. So if we ever go to something like that, she's like held the whole time, but now she can walk. So that's super fun for her. But yeah, I'm gonna bust out some work while they're gone and then I'll order groceries and I'll show you guys what we got. Well, I was gonna film me filling up my water, but all the dishes are dirty. There's no cups. This is your water right here. This, this one's not working for some reason. Well, you probably I tried to drink it. I just like choked on a pretzel really bad. Here it goes. What? Oh. You had it in the... Well, here's my water. Anyways, I just ordered groceries from two different places, but I'm about to go to a third grocery store because they have fresh sourdough bread and homemade soup and they don't deliver. So I'm gonna take home with me. We're gonna go get that. They're back from the library. Lola actually fell asleep in her car seat at like 11, which the library is like two minutes away. She usually naps at 12, so I don't know why she was so tired, but she was tired enough that she fell asleep in the car on that two minute drive. And then Parker got her out, carried her upstairs and put her in her crib and she stayed asleep. For some reason, she's just like extra tired. I'm gonna go run a little errand with Cove while Lola naps. I got most of my work stuff done for the day. I can do the rest of it in a couple days when our nanny comes. You didn't get your your sweater. Daddy, the dog. Your teddy bear sweater's in the car? Yeah, and mommy's dog. Okay, well let's go. Okay, so we went into the store. We got some soup. I was gonna do homemade soup, but then I was looking at my Pinterest and all the things I had pinned. And I have other meals that I'm gonna make. So we're gonna do soup for lunch. I got two of these big ones and then two smaller ones. Two of them are vegetarian and the other two are not. I also got, it's like kind of buried under everything now, but I got Parker a plate of food for lunch. They have hot stuff like chicken tenders, mac and cheese, stuff like that. So I got him that for lunch today. I got a whole loaf of sourdough bread. And then since I got the whole loaf of sourdough bread, I decided to also get cheese and 
turkey so that we can do paninis and they have like the freshly cut cheeses and meats and stuff. So I figured since I made the trip all the way to this store, I needed to get those instead of getting like the pre-packaged ones. Yeah, we should be like stocked up for the week because I just got a ton of stuff. And like I said, this is literally the third grocery store that I'm going to that I'm like getting food from this week. So yeah, I am all stocked up now, but I'm waiting for the other food to come. So I'll show you guys what we got because it's kind of like the basics of what we get like often. Little grocery haul. I always get chickpea noodles because they're good for protein for the girls. I also got two other kinds of pasta. Fortigliano. I'm not even gonna try to say that. And fusilli. Wait, why did I get this? Oh, I'm doing two different pastas this week. I'm gonna do like a broccoli, spinach, cheesy pasta, and then I'm gonna do a baked hummus pasta. And when I say me, I mean Parker's gonna cook it. Yeah. And got some basil. Every time that I try to get basil, almost every single time, they don't have it. I actually asked for two of these, and I only see one, so. I got some tomatoes, because we're gonna do paninis this week. I got sun-dried tomatoes. I like to get this dairy-free yogurt. This is the peach mango flavor, and it's really good, so I'll give the girls that for breakfast sometimes. I also needed cherry tomatoes for the hummus pasta that I'm making. I also got a big thing eggs. We go through eggs really fast. I don't really eat eggs, but the girls eat eggs and Parker eats eggs. So I feel like if we get a carton of, of 12, it does not last us very long. It's gone in like two days. It's like two breakfasts for all three of them, which is not that much. But I also got some kale. I have like three recipes that I need kale for this week. I wanna do a kale salad that has like white beans and like hemp seeds and stuff. And then what else? I wanted to do some green bowls. So I got quinoa last week actually. And then I was gonna do quinoa, kale, broccoli, chickpeas, sweet potatoes. I also got some lettuce for our sandwich. Which is and bell peppers. We eat a lot of bell peppers and we eat a lot of cucumbers. My favorite snack to make the girls in the afternoon is just a little snack plate. I do like cucumber. Sometimes I do bell pepper. I feel like we use those for, I guess I do use that for a snack or sometimes I'll do it in like What else do we put on our snack plate? Carrots. I usually do some kind of like cracker. I do some kind of fruit. Basically just a little platter of like stuff, healthy stuff. I got two things of broccoli because I need one for my broccoli pasta and for my green bowls. I only got one apple. I forgot to click more than one. We'll do apples and peanut butter on our snack plate. I also got this Parmesan cheese for my pasta. I usually like to cook vegan most of the time if we're like actually making something and I'm getting groceries for it, but I don't every single time. So I got chickpeas. These are white beans for my salad. Another thing of chickpeas, another thing of white beans. And then usually if we're making something, I like to make the sauce for it myself, but it's also a pain if we need like a dressing for something or whatever. So this time I'm trying the vegan goddess dressing that I found there. I always feel like homemade is healthier, but sometimes it's just a lot to add that. Like you have to make all the stuff and then to make the sauce, sometimes it's just a pain. I got nutritional yeast. I use this a lot too when I cook. I use it for, I don't know, whatever recipes ask for it. I got this avocado oil spray that we go through a lot. I also got some spinach for my pasta. And then I decided to try these frozen sweet potatoes because for my green bowl, I needed chopped sweet potatoes and peeling and chopping them sometimes just takes too long. I got mustard, so I got these little frozen cube ones and then I got a little protein bar that's chocolate pretzel with sea salt and it looks good. And then Parker actually put away the groceries from the other place I got where you order in bulk because they came when I was gone, but we got Bananas, we go through a lot of bananas. I like to freeze them and use them for my protein shake. We also go through a lot of avocados. I started getting avocados from the place where you buy in bulk too because this is only my second time getting them, but they just are way better and they like, there's more of them. They lasted longer. What else? I didn't get a ton from that place. I got blueberries, raspberries, pomegranates, pomegranates pomegranate seeds because I'm also gonna do another salad that I saw that had like pomegranate seeds, hummus, shredded carrots, olive oil, lemon. Oh, I also got a bag of lemons too. And I got asparagus. So we are like stocked up. So we need to not eat out this week at all. I am going out on Saturday for a girls night when my friends is coming into town. So we're planning what we're gonna do. So I think we're gonna go out for dinner and then come back to my house. That is our grocery haul for the week. Yep. 
All right, we came on a little family outing because a new drink place opened up. Yeah, if you didn't know, Utah is famous for all the soda places. We came out to try it. We got the pretzels, which I already took a bite and I'm not impressed because they're not hot at all. I also got a Samoa cookie. This drink is really good. I forgot, uh, I think that's just a raspberry lemonade. Lemonade, raspberry, lemonade, and lemons. The <laughs> lemons is the it's a yeah, water. I got a coconut mist drink, which is the same thick. kind of drink as I get at another drink place here. You hold it. We hey, also Joey. got big water. I wouldn't get the pretzels. Mm. I would come back for drinks. Yeah, yeah, right. not my top favorite, but we love a good family outing, especially an easy one like this. Fun to bounce around and try new drink places. Yeah, we're gonna get a car wash because there's a bunch of random stuff in there. I do not like to have stuff in my car. I want my car to be empty. I don't care that I have kids. It can get stuff in it and then we have to clean it up right away. Molly has been so sad on this drive because you do not like your car seat lately, huh? I feel like she actually did pretty good on our road trip though. She did pretty good on the road trip, but most of the time when we put her in the car, she like freaks out and she didn't yeah. used to do that. <laughs> Another thing that we have going on that we need to fix is Cove has been coming into our bed almost every single night for the past like it's like months at this point months? it's like been a long time and ever since we switched her to a toddler bed parker made the mistake of saying oh i'll lay with you like i'll snuggle you and then she just assumed that every single night when she goes to bed that he needs to, to snuggle her the all the way now. until she falls asleep so we're trying to figure out how to fix that we've always tried to do like not that I with like our snuggle. kids sleeping but now it's a little harder to like get her to bed because we have to literally lay with her until she falls asleep usually i put lola down and he puts Cove down, but sometimes we'll switch or whatever. But I don't know what to do because it's so sad. <laughs> it's like if we try to say no, she just like uh, cries and is like, no, snuggle me. But she doesn't just cry, she like goes to the door and like comes Yeah, out. she's like so sad. So I don't know out. like how to change that habit, but we need to. And then yeah, her waking up, she usually doesn't wake up in the night, but she does now. And half the time we'll like take her back to her bed, but the other half the time we are too tired. So she just climbs into bed with us. Good. And last night she was literally up the whole night like every five minutes. last night she was yes really yes do you not remember i feel like i remember that's probably why i'm so tired but i usually don't she remember comes in and just like goes just... to bed or whatever or she'll like need water but she was asking for like 50 things and just like would randomly sit up like i need this oh like yeah i had to get water and yeah you had to go out there two times <laughs> that's just right. to go get water i forgot about she that. drank the whole thing and she also likes to sleep sideways huh you like to sleep sideways with your feet in mommy's face huh? <laughs> that's not funny do you like to have sleepover with mom and dad uh, yeah. Yeah. and yo yeah and mama and luma did you have fun at the store with me yeah I had fun with you too. Tell, did you tell dad what we saw driving? What did uh, we see driving? Oh yeah. What did you see? School bus. <gasps> you saw a school bus. You saw a school bus. And what did you Are say? Are you kidding me? Did you say maybe one day you can go to school? Mm -hmm. That would be so fun, huh? Should we make a yummy dinner tonight? What do you think we should make? Um, chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? No, chocolate. we're not gonna have chocolate cake for dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, now we're gonna get car wash. Hey, Lola, are you gonna cook with Mama? All right, you can help me get this stuff out. We need broccoli, we need spinach and basil, garlic, cheese, olive oil, pasta, and lemon. Lemon, olive oil, and pasta. So it's from Cafe Haley on Instagram. I've showed it on the vlog before. We have yummy pasta. It's kind of a funny color. It's like literally bright green, but pasta and asparagus for dinner. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Lola's really fussy because she took that one nap like early in the day and she did not take another one. So it's 5.30 and I think I'm gonna put her down at six like after she eats. That is all for today. So thank you guys for watching. It's very loud in this kitchen right now. Thank you again to Jared, the Gallery of Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. I will have their pieces linked down below if you guys want to check them out. For now, that is gonna be all for this vlog. We're gonna get the girls in bed and we should watch a new show. That's the plan for the day. See you guys in the next vlog. <laughs>